Okay, so now an update. As you can see behind me, I have a new record cabinet ready to take all of those vinyl records. As I mentioned in a previous episode, during the move, my main record cabinet, one of the two, disintegrated from all the weight. So the search was on for a new record cabinet. Yeah, Google was helpful. And here's what I found. <laughs> so welcome to construction hell. And let's drop the needle. After looking at many websites and thinking, well, sure, I could build this. How hard can it be? You need some lumber, you need a miter saw, you need a table saw, and you need a bunch of tools. And yeah, I got all those. But the problem is they're in the garage. They're still in boxes, and worse than that, they're buried under a whole bunch of cardboard boxes that have already been broken down, but not hauled out yet. So that was not going to work. After pretty extensive research, I found a unit called Kalax that Ikea sells, which had really good reviews and looked promising. Okay, now a disclaimer. I am not an Ikea fan. All right, call me mechanically challenged, but I find their illustrated assembly instructions frustrating to say the least. It seems like if you go step by step by step, you get to point 17 or 18, and there's a little disclaimer that says, oh, by this point, you should have already done this. Mm. Okay, it comes in four big boxes. So we put them in the van, brought them to the house. Oh yeah, but now we gotta haul them upstairs and the assembly begins. Things were going smashingly well. This was easier than I could imagine. And my opinions about Ikea's assembly instructions were changing. Yeah, but then I got cocky and I decided to race ahead. Bad idea. Yeah, in doing so, I broke two of the wooden dowels that hold most of that unit together. And worse than that, they were broken off inside the holes. So I had to drill them out. But then I'm thinking, how am I gonna get two more wooden dowels to put all this the right size, to put all this together? Okay, Ikea, I owe you an apology because they included two extra dowels. So I went back, slowly I turned, started going through the instructions step by step, and voila, the piece came together. But now you gotta secure it to the wall so it doesn't fall over. Ah, that's a great idea. But this is where Ikea went squirrely again because it's on step 26 that they tell you, you need to install the brackets in each of the corners. Which, if we could have done that before the piece was built, it would have been much, much easier. Now, I got pretty big hands, and so I couldn't get in there and turn that screwdriver, but luckily, my wife came and saved the day. It's now ready to receive all those albums. And yes, I did pack the albums in boxes and number them, so alphabetically, they should still be in order, and I have a database to check so I can move things around. But you know, this is gonna take a little bit of time. Now, hopefully by the next episode, the discs are spinning and we're ready to drop the needle again. Thanks for your patience during our hiatus, and I hope to see you again real soon. Anybody remember that from the Mickey Mouse Club all those years ago? <laughs> anyway, I didn't think I'd be saying this in August, but if you haven't yet, please get vaccinated. And for rock's sake, wear a mask. And of course, keep a rockin'.